Hi my friends and welcome to our pumpkin carving demonstration. I know this year is a little bit different because we cannot have a party with carving pumpkins ourselves. That's why I wanted to make this video to show you how to do it so you can have a party at home if you want. So the first thing that you need are pumpkins. I grew these pumpkins in my backyard, but you can buy pumpkins in many places in Bozeman. Grocery stores, home improvement stores, and there is even a farm in Bozeman where you can pick your own pumpkin. I don't know if they are doing it right now with the snow, but maybe next year you can, you can do that. The next thing that you need is a book of tools that looks like this. So you have all the tools and the pictures that you need to carve your own pumpkin. Usually these are about three or four dollars at a store in Bozeman, so they are a good place to start to carve a pumpkin. Next, there are some other things I like to have. I usually wear gloves because this can be very dirty. So um, wear some gloves. You should also have some candles, okay? And I will show you what those are for later. Okay, I am going to carve this big pumpkin here. And how you want to start with this is you want to take a sharp knife. Maybe you need a bigger knife than before, but get a sharp knife and you want to take off the top of the pumpkin. So you take the knife and if you are doing this with children, be careful because it can be very difficult to take the top off the pumpkin. So you take your knife, you cut, you start cutting the pumpkin and cut completely around. Like I said, it can be, it can be very tough. It can be very difficult to, to do this. So please be careful. So I already cut a little bit, so now you can see that here is the top of the pumpkin. You want to keep the top, so do not throw the top away. Save it for that. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is in the book, you will take the biggest tool and it is called a scraper. Sometimes scrapers look like this, sometimes scrapers look like this, or smaller. And what you want to do is take the scraper and get all of the insides of the pumpkin out. So take all of this out. You can throw it away, you can cook with it. Um, some people make pies so you can bake with it. Um, and you can find many directions online for how to do that. Another suggestion that I have is to keep the seeds of the pumpkin. So the seeds of the pumpkin, you can put them in the oven and you can eat them. They are very delicious and nutritious and it's a good um, snack. So you can just put them in the oven. Again, there are many recipes online. You can use um, garlic, you can use um, red pepper, paprika, anything that you like to bake the, the seeds. So go ahead and take all of the insides out. You want to make sure your pumpkin is clean. So you see all of this needs to, needs to come out until the pumpkin has clean insides. So I'm going to take this and keep cleaning. So you see all of this is coming out. The history of carving pumpkins is very interesting. It comes to us from Europe and what people did is they took other vegetables like radishes or turnips and they would carve out the inside, put a candle inside, 
and then use it as a lantern to scare away ghosts and other dark spirits. So just like a lot of Halloween, this is a very old tradition and it doesn't have the meaning that it used to in the past. We do not believe that we are scaring away um, dark spirits, but this is still a tradition that we do for, for Halloween. And it's one of my favorite things to do for Halloween. I just think it's, it's a fun thing. Okay, so now my inside is clean. And again, my friends, make sure that the inside is completely clean or else it will be difficult to do the next part. What you want to do now is take your book and choose one of the pictures. So there are easier pictures to do, there are difficult pictures, but maybe I want to do this picture. What you should do on your pumpkin is you should take some water, and you can do this in the sink or you can just have a bowl of water, and you want to make the picture wet because that is how it will stick to your pumpkin. So I am making it wet and then you want to smooth it out a little bit. So you see how it is sticking to my pumpkin, this picture, right? So because it is wet, it will stick and then you want to make sure it is smooth. If this doesn't work for you, another thing that you can do is use tape to tape the picture to your um, pumpkin. Another thing that you can do is use a pen and draw your own design on the pumpkin. Many people just do triangles for eyes and um, another triangle for a nose and just a, um, a big shape for a mouth. So you can do something like that as well. But I like to use the pictures from the book. So next, you want to take this tool, and this tool is a little bit small, so I will show you over here. So you want to take this tool, it has a point, has a point on it, and what you want to do is poke the pumpkin and follow the design that you have on here right now. So you want to keep going, keep going until you have finished this whole design. And you see, this can take some time, but it will make it easier for you when it's time to cut. So you keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. And if I am finished, when I am finished with the whole carve or the whole poking, so let me finish a little bit more. When you are finished completely, you want to take this paper off and you will see the design where you poked the pumpkin. So for instance, here is the line that I see here for my, for my pumpkin. When you are finished with that, you want to take the knife and let me show you exactly you can see the pokes right here, right? Right here. After you are completely finished with that, you want to take um, one of the little knives here, and the bigger ones are for big sections, and the smaller ones are for details. So like my picture here had a lot of details, so I will use this smaller knife to cut those. But for the big sections, you can use the bigger knives. You can see that here you have three. 
one, two, three. So the big ones are for big sections and the small ones are for smaller sections. And then what you want to do is you want to connect all the dots. So you want to cut on the line that you made with the dots. Okay, so I will show you in a moment. So what you need to do is just find where the dots are and cut right on those lines and all the pumpkin you can keep again or you can throw away. So I am going to cut these pieces out. And again, this can be a little bit difficult for little children, so make sure that you help them as they are cutting so that um, you do not have any problems. So, <clears throat> And this is why it is so important that you clean the inside of the pumpkin because if you do not do that, then it will be very difficult to cut through that. So you want to make sure that the inside is very clean, that you scraped everything out. Okay. So keep cutting, keep cutting and all of these pieces that you pull out, again, you can just throw them away or, or keep them. <clears throat> okay. So when you are done with that, you will have your design completely cut out. So you can see I had a design on the back of the pumpkin. I made a witch, okay? So now, what you should do is you have your candle, right? And this is where it is nice to see what the design looks like in the dark because you will put your candle inside the pumpkin and then you want to get a lighter or a match and you can go ahead and light your pumpkin, the candle in the pumpkin, okay? And then you take the top and you put the top back on your pumpkin. And here it is still light, but if I turn off some of the lights, you will see my candle shining inside my pumpkin, my witch pumpkin, okay? So my friends, that is the way how to carve a pumpkin. Please let me know if you have any questions. Again, I really like this activity, so I am always very happy to help. So please let me know if you need help or if you need any recipes for making um, roasted uh, pumpkin seeds or uh, pumpkin pie or anything like that. So my friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun, I had some fun, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!